this man who's calling isn't joking. Like, he's being serious. He's saying, I will take Mike Matheson's full contract, the worst contract in the NHL, and I will give you Patrick Hornquist. Is it the worst so, contract well, it's one of the, the worst contract in the NHL is, was Jack Johnson. Dude, you gotta... <laughs> Are we forgetting that this contract exists? And Skinner, too. <laughs> or, um, uh, Keith, yeah, sound. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, that's a good contract. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's an incredible. No, it's just, it, Max, it's a bad contract because of the song bonus. You know, $50,000 plus every song. song. Yeah. First song, yeah. Um, no, but, but seriously, like, we talk about Florida always, you know, getting unlucky, et cetera. Like, this was a great break for Florida. Is a is a GM saying like the the GM for Florida literally? Are they is there luck a net positive? They can't spend any money. <laughs> yeah, and you have Bobrovsky on payroll for the next six years at ten million dollars. Yeah, no. When he's thirty eight years old, he'll be being paid ten million dollars. Like. Where's your luck there? Yeah. Uh, he all of a sudden starts sucking like, as soon as we get here. Each, all the signings they made in a vacuum were good. Yeah. But they lost Hoffman and Dadunov. And Halva. <laughs> you could yeah. say they have $11 million in cap space. They don't. Functionally, they don't. Mm -hmm. They're good at It's like, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, Yeah. I, I mean, who's the third best player goal scorer on this team? Hornquist, I guess? I mean, that's... I mean, I thought I, I thought oh, I God. Connolly, yeah. Barkov. Well, I third best. Matthews. Yeah. Uh, Hubert yeah. Barkov, then three. I don't know. Connolly, maybe. I think yeah. might be honestly the best right. Jesus, God. Should go L.A. now. All right, L.A. Uh, did uh, they sign anybody? <laughs> they didn't do anything. Yeah, they did nothing. They got Lias Anderson. That's what they got. And that's nothing. Yeah. So let's move along. Interesting. Interesting from a Ranger fan. Interesting. So. Yeah, they didn't do anything. Uh, yeah. I mean, LA might randomly be good and make playoffs because that's what LA does. No. Yeah. No. Yep. Getting Anderson is nothing. So he might as well just move along. No. Montreal. I mean, Minnesota. Sorry. Minnesota. Um, so they did some things. Yeah, they so they re signed. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who did they sign? Yeah. They got Talbot as their goalie. Oh, yeah. They got Dubnik, Donato. Yeah, they brought in Marcus Johansson <laughs> for Eric Stahl. Oh, yeah. It's, it's they did some, they did like some things. The, it's just more of like the, this isn't going to get them anywhere out of media. You just kind of rearrange the players <laughs> a bit. Yeah. And then I can't see them being a lot of show for like not much substance, I'd say. <laughs> this isn't going to change anything. I mean, their blue line's still sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, but don't they need to trade Dumba or something? Like, like, don't uh, they want to trade him or something? I don't know. Yeah, there's such rumors about Dumba getting moved that they don't want to pay. Like, I think they're trying to shed a shed salary. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. It's there's like we gotta get moving. I feel like Minnesota yeah. is kind of. Mm -hmm. So we're just, just gonna like, throw Minnesota in the dumpster, huh? <laughs> Montreal. There we go. Sorry, Mete. Mete. <laughs> Mete and Anderson. Let's talk about them. Mete and Anderson. Well, they're still a mediocre team. Uh, you know. Hopefully, Carey Price can go God mode again. Uh, yeah, I mean. Hopefully, Anderson isn't injured and plays extremely well, like plays up to his potential, which I bet he can. He's only 26. Still a little bit of time for him to grow, kind they of. They still have a million picks. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a bit, like. They traded the third, and was like mad about the third. They have next year they have their first, and then they have two seconds, and then they have three thirds, and they have three fours, and they have three picks. Jesus, like they just have, they have so many picks. That's insane. Yeah, Montreal. They have a lot of guys off the books like next year. Um, uh, weren't again, they linked to like, Petro? Huh? Uh, didn't were some people saying they were gonna get Petro or no? I mean, I don't think they need him. So. I don't think so. I haven't heard any. I heard they're maybe kind of in on him, but and you have the Weber. You have you're, the blue line there. You're pretty expensive. Yeah, Petrie is a good player. He's he, had Evans for that. three and a half million, which is kind of I don't know. Yeah, 
four years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of like uh, they'll be in the running for that third spot in the Atlantic, I think. Though, you know, I think Toronto got better. So, yeah, it's hard to see them, like, yeah, like, make that next step and be in a playoff team, to be honest. I don't know if they did enough. They kind of just, they're kind of also in a holding pattern. Yeah. Uh, you ready to move on? Yep. Yeah. Let's, let's move. The young guys, yeah. though, are getting better. They have some promising young guys. That was why yeah. Yep. Yeah. Petrie's a guy. Yep. Petrie's sick. So is Webb. Uh, next is Nashville. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Well, they <laughs> Smith. Yeah. Uh, Turris. Bought out Turris, which is going to be an absolute dagger to that. I mean, he's going to be on the books for a long time, like for like eight signed, more years or something. They signed Borough Cop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God, uh, Borough Cop. Is this? I don't know. I feel like oh, yeah, they've Nashville got Borough. Kind of, yeah. Nashville is just kind of slowly like fizzling out, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, it's like the heat depth of a, of a red giant star. Yeah. yeah they're just slowly... Just slowly on the decline. Like Pecker and has got one more year left. He's 37. Yeah, they drafted so, Askarov. Can Saras be the guy? We don't know. They drafted Askarov. Sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're Askarov. interesting. <laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it should be interesting to see if this is the year. Like, I feel like eventually the bomb's going to fall off. It can't be the year. They don't have a good enough team. <laughs> Their team is not good enough. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm waiting for the bottom to fall out of Nashville. And yeah, like they're just slowly getting worse, and that it's gonna eventually just they're just gonna crash and not do very well. Yeah, yeah, quiet, quiet free agency for them. Uh, up next is New Jersey. <laughs> um, I mean, they got yeah. better. I think they got better. It's just might yeah. not be enough to really well, yeah, make them relevant again. It's just too bad, you know, like New Jersey, just because like you know they're so you're so confined. Like if you're in the match, you know what I mean, like. Yeah, New Jersey, yeah, like, in fun. the grand scheme of things, like, they got better and, like, they're a better team in the NHL. But, like, in the Metro, they're still the worst team. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I hate to be that brutally honest. Also, like, I know we discussed this before, but me, Malik, and Max were discussing, like, why would you buy out Corey Schneider this year? Um, you have no chance at all of making the playoffs. So why would you not hold his contract for another year or two when you stink and then have him off the books? But now, in, instead of that, you have him on the books when you're down the years, down in a couple of years when Hughes will be better, he sure will be better, you know, your young players will be getting better in coming up, Batherson will be better, et cetera. I, I didn't understand that at all, so. Yeah, I um, mean, I wouldn't say no chance, but yeah, they, won't, they shouldn't be expecting to make the playoffs this year. So it just seems like weird timing for them to finally... Like the buyout Schneider, unless you know it's for financial reasons that like internally. But yeah, I mean, I like the moves. I, mean, I like getting Andreas Johnson. I think it's a good move. Yeah, Johnson uh, was it? Yeah. I mean, signing wise, they just signed Wedgwood earlier today. Who did they sign? Uh, I mean, I uh, had Crawford. Um, so I mean, they're goaltending. That's a good tandem. Oh, they got Corey Crawford. Crawford. I didn't know that. Crawford. Oh, great. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird signing, I feel like. Yeah. Um, I mean... I, guess they, I mean, Blackwood's still young. They have a... Crawford, it will be a good mentor for him. Yeah. I think. And it can really develop Blackwood to be that, you know... I think he's shown that he can be a starter, Blackwood. I think he's, I think he's shown. I think he's proved himself. But I think... Yeah. Having Crawford with him, taking some workload off of Blackwood because you know New Jersey's not great defensively. Mm -hmm. Blackwood's probably facing a lot of high quality shots. Well, hopefully, oh, like we were saying, hopefully Ryan Murray will help out that D. Um, you know, he's mm -hmm. he's a good defensive think, defenseman. Yeah. Um, and I've got him. They, they are trade as well. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I, I wouldn't say their playoff chances are zero. Yeah, it's hard to see them catapulting up the standings. Yeah, um, and like even though Hall was kind of underwhelming at times, that was still like that's just a huge part of their production. And we can't forget that they do still have first overall pick Jack Hughes. 
who he could you ever I could just just been in quarantine this whole time. He could just come back like just ripped and like tear it up. Yeah. Their but defense yeah. still isn't very good though. I, I still don't think their defense is good. Well, yeah, I mean it has to be by committee, I'd say. I think you have to think Subban won't be that bad again. Yeah. I think he has some back issues as well. So mm-hmm. if he's healthy, he should be at least a bit better. They got Sieves, though. Sieves is a beast. Yeah. I mean, they don't have, like, a number one guy, but they have... They still need to sign, make a signing or two. I know I've said this, like, 400 times, but I, I do believe Severson is, like, a top a top top pair defenseman. I, I, think, he's, I, I think he's really solid. Um... But you know, then you yeah, have I I saw it too. then you have Murray, and then after that, it's just a huge drop off. Did they, are they going to re-sign Andy Green from the uh, Ranger or Islanders? I don't know. I know he's I think Andy might retire. He's old. Yeah, he is old. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I it should get better, but hard to see him making playoffs. Yeah. Yep. All right. Next squad. Nothing. Just Sebastian Ajo from the Islanders. And not the right Sebastian Ajo. The defenseman is Sebastian Oh, yeah, Ajo. Sebastian Ajo. All right, well, let, let's move quick move before on. Max gets Rain crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some, they got some RFAs to sign. They got to sign Marzell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and Polak. Rangers offer Steve Barzell. Offer Steve Barzell is something insane that they can't pay. <laughs> <laughs> and force them to pay it because they have to. Yeah. So uh, they should do that. But yeah, Islanders got to sign their RFAs. Uh, should still be in the mix. They got Trots, and yep, that's all I got to say on it. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Rangers. Rangers. All right, Max, you <laughs> take the lead here. Yeah, all you men. So let me go kind of up the list of the signings on the first day of free agency, October 9th, 2020. Uh, keep in mind, we have still for RFAs, Tony D'Angelo and Ryan Strom to sign. Um, at the time, uh, yes, for fast was, uh, still up for being, uh, a resigning option. Um, no longer. And who do we go for? Uh, you might start uh, with. Right now. Is this fine? Yep. Yeah. Hello? Max. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. We hear you. All right. So from the top. Okay. So let us start. On the first day of free agency, October 9th, 2020. Uh, keep in mind, the RFAs at the Rangers uh, need to sign at this point. Most up, like, top priority, if we want to re-sign them, would be uh, Ryan Strom and... Uh, the racist. Ryan Strom, Brendan Lemieux, and Tony D'Angelo. Those are the yeah. three, including Jesper Fass, which should have been an easy re-sign. Uh, uh, going robot voice again. You too. My internet's kind of cutting in and out. Can you hear me fine? I can hear you fine. Yeah, it sounds like I think I think it's in the link. Yeah, I'm in the ba- I'm in the basement, so probably me. But I can hear I you guys know. all fine. You keep going. Okay. Keep going. So, let's go through the first day of free agency, October 9, twenty twenty. Signings go: Anthony Vieto, uh, <laughs> notoriously kind of pretty bad. At least it's on a two way contract, I guess. So whatever. <laughs> Anthony uh, Vieto. <laughs> Brodzinski, Vro- Vro- I don't even know who that is. Uh, let's see, Brendan Crawley, uh, Todd K, Keith Kincaid. Uh, why are we signing? Why are we signing a goalie when we? Oh yeah, Georgiev is also an RFA, but we should prioritize prioritize re-signing him too. We already have him, who we should be re-signing, Georgiev, and uh, Shosturkin. So why we're getting Kincaid? I don't know. Two years. Uh, Kevin Rooney. Yeah. Winner, I guess, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Colin Blackwell. <laughs> sure. Another center. Another depth center. Whatever. Fourth line. Yeah, that's great. Uh, all that combined in cap space. I don't know. Let's see. Two million. Three million. Uh, I don't know. Like four million. Four and a half million dollars and Jack Johnson for one point one five million dollars. 
be analytically and eye test wise <laughs> worst defenseman in the NHL, mind you. Right after dumping Mark Stahl, who everyone was complaining was, oh, Mark Stahl's so bad. He's a pylon. He can't play. Well, now look who you're replacing him. With. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Is, okay, is he worse than Cody CC? Yes! He is worse than Cody CC. <laughs> how, is, how is Cody CC worse? Cody CC. <laughs> Pretty bad. Cody yeah. Not compared to Jack Johnson. <laughs> no. The analytics say otherwise, Malik. There's, there's this algorithm thing online, right? Like I saw it on Twitter. Uh, no, I saw it. But basically, it compares your production through advanced analytics to like what you're paid as, like for a contract, <laughs> to make kind of this estimate of if is this player worth the contract? And 